Ah, welcome back everyone to another episode of Scandinavia. So guys, this episode I got a couple things to talk about. I have, well, basically three things to talk to you guys about. One is about the colonies in America, one is about the colonies or future colonies in Africa, and another is about, wait, let me turn this down a little bit. There we go. Yeah, now I can hear myself. Okay, um, another one is Europe. All right. So basically, guys, now that we've united Scandinavia and we've done some colonization, I've been thinking, hey, why don't we just start trying to conquer the world? I mean, I don't think it would take too much effort to conquer the world. If I'm smart about it, I could probably do it in about the end of the game. But to conquer all this, we're going to need to do a lot of things. So this is why we need a three prolonged plan for this. One is in the colonies. Another is in Africa, and another is in Europe. Alright. I mean, I'm not guaranteeing they'll be able to conquer the world, but I feel like a warmonger right now, and I want to go take over as much things as possible. So, let's focus on let's focus on Europe first. So, for Europe, my main battle plan is to just... Well, actually, let's get to Europe last, because Europe is kind of the more exciting part. Um, <laughs> no offense, but it probably is. It is. Um, in America... What, or New Vinland? Why do I keep forgetting? It's New Vinland, it's not America. Oh gosh. Also, I can start renaming stuff, which I'm going to start doing right now. Uh, but for America, I'm going to be... I'm going to be, like, just... Um, just start colonizing and taking over all the Native Americans. That's what I'm basically going to do for, uh, for this. Because... You know... Ah! There we go. Because it's just that thing. And uh, what's a good clever name for this? Arcadia. Okay. Maybe? Nah, I like Arcadia. Alright. Well, this is going to be New St. James. <laughs> Don't get why, but yeah. So we're just going to be colonizing over here and just taking over as much as we stuff over here. It's gonna take us. It's gonna take us approximately about two wars for each big state, and one more for the Huron to completely annex them. Just because for some reason I just can't annex them completely, even though I should have a free causes ally with expansion. I don't know why. It's just because of that. So, yeah. Anyways, um, in Africa, what I'm going to be trying to trying to do is I'm going to try to start colonizing around the coastline because the coastline actually have some pretty valuable. Well. It has some pretty good loot. I just have to figure out which one is it. Like over here somewhere, it has some pretty good loot. And if you can get a colony over here, you get a special bonus of the East Indian trade, which I was looking up yesterday while being, while just exploring everything. Let's see, triggered modifiers. There we go. The East Indian trade, because the reason why we want this is because this gives us plus 20 to income. And the only thing we need to do is we need to just do a colony. And we just need to have the Straits of jo We just need to have the Lower Cape. That's all we need to have. And then we have the East Indian trade, and we have massive amounts of moolah. Oh, gosh, the moolah will be coming in, people. Okay. All right. And then, finally, the European front. Oh, how will the new... How will the King of King Karl conquer the world? Oh my goodness, I've been thinking long and hard, and I've thought about it, and I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to weave my way inside the uh, HRE. You know, this thing right over here, this this conglomeration of messiness. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to weave my way inside the HRE, and basically uh, try to subjugate every little nation, or, you know, convert every nation to my thing, because... Well, basically this, guys. I didn't realize this until somebody, until I was watching other YouTubers, and they pointed this out. You could actually become the the HRE, the head of the HRE, without actually being the HRE. What does that mean? Basically, I just need to have a higher relationship with them than they do with the other next person, and I basically have them underneath my control. So, how am I going to do that, though? Well, I have to first get somebody or a puppet guy to kind of become part of my empire. 
Um, so I could use him as a good stepping point to the rest of the places. So what I'm thinking about going to is I'm thinking about using Bohemia since we have the most in common with Bohemia. They are they are the only Protestant nation inside the H HRE, which is a nice plus. They are the only people that are willing to even talk to us, and they're going to be the easiest to convince them to start voting us in. Okay, okay. So once they vote us in, I'm gonna wait for them to have some kind of conflict inside the HRE. Maybe Bohemia because one Saxony or Saxony because one Bohemia, whatever. I'll get involved inside the war. And I'll just basically, when the war ends, I'll make sure that on the peace deal, I'll say Saxony will become Protestant. Once Saxony becomes Protestant, it should delete my heretic negative relations. That's really where all my negative relationships are coming from. Not even my aggressive expansion is killing me. It's mostly my uh, her heresy that use that seems to be like damaging me. I mean, my, I mean, most of my relationship with all these other guys is fine. I mean, we're very tolerant of them. Why can't they be tolerant of us? Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, not a very tolerant thing to say, but it is the truth. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go dock up here. Okay. So, yeah. You know, that's just what I'm thinking. And, you know, we're going to work from there. So, anyways. And about a plan to go invade the Aztecs. Um... I'm gonna have to postpone that plan. We're gonna, I think what we're gonna need to do is I think we're gonna have to finish off, I'm, I'm really feeling, I really feel like we have to finish off Norway. Like seriously, we really have to finish off Norway. And Norway has been a pain in our side for like years. I mean, ever since the beginning of this game, these guys have been like a pain. Oh gosh, they were at war, <laughs> they were literally at war with us at the very beginning of the game. So, and they have so many cores on us that I feel very worried if they were to, like, get broken free. You know what I mean? Oh. We also should go to war with Pomerania just to steal this little island right here for no apparent reason besides just to take it from these guys. I mean, who are they allied with? I mean, we are enemies of these guys, so that's good. Who are they allied with? Lithuania, Alice, and Hesse. Well... Let's see, I could handle Hesse, and I could handle Pomerania, I could handle everyone. The only people I could probably not handle is Lithuania. Lithuania is a little bit too powerful, especially if they get the right alliances, like if they get the Muscovy alliance. Uh, I mean, I do have some cores on Muscovy, but that would actually damage me more if they kill me. But I think I'll, I'll just basically leave that for last, okay? Okay, so also guys, we're also going to be coring some of this stuff, which I'm going to be putting down the rebellions right now. I'm not putting up with, I'm not putting up with any rebellions in my, in my land. I don't care if I spend militaristic points on this. I'm not dealing with any rebellions in my land. Okay, I'm gonna have you guys go right here. You guys are gonna make constant army stationed right there, and yeah, I'm good. Think I'm gonna move and, and I think I'm finally gonna move an army to the new world, because it seems like we're almost basically established a kind of good landmass of colonies. So I think I'm finally gonna go to the new world. And Boston? Oh, I can rename Manhattan! What should I call it? Um, not Manhattan, but... Oh, gosh. I already have... Dang it, I already have New Stockholm! Um, New, New, New Stockholm? Maybe? Um... How about Winterland? We'll name... We'll name New York Winterland. Ah, dang it. There we go. Yes, it's still named Winterland. We're just gonna have to update. We're just gonna have to wait for it to update. So that's Winterland, everyone. Enjoy the country of Winter... Ah, dang it. No, it did not update. Okay. Winterland. There we go. Oh, did you already build your one fort? Good. Oh, gosh. I don't remember how to switch names. Okay, I'll figure that out at some point, but not right now. So let's finally get into the game. Gosh, that took a long time to introduce everything. Uh, but we had a lot of things to talk about, so... Yeah. We have discovered an agent! Oh no! Is somebody trying to go to war with us? Oh no! Okay. Constable, trading modifier, trade tax modifier. Oh, we need to start getting the temples, dude. The temples are where it's at. Okay. So yeah, let's just wait until we're done with all this. Okay, it seems like we have rebel problems. Oh great. <laughs> Okay, I have to. Oh, and I'm also going to start looking at the rebel, the rebel like map mode a lot more, because I really do think I have to. Oh my goodness, what the heck happened to my country? 
There was that. I, I swore there was a reason why I was doing this, and I think I just figured out the reason. Oh gosh, this is terrible. Uh, well, how much is the revolt risk right here? Uh, yeah, let's see. How much is the revolt risk right here? Seven point seven. Oh gosh, and these are non-Protestant lands. Oh gosh, that's terrible. Oh man. Oh man. Uh. I don't know why everyone's so angry with me. Maybe it's because of war exhaustion? Oh yeah, it's war exhaustion. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Now we're back to zero. Now we should be fine. Am I correct? We should be fine. Uh, let me go back to war. Okay, now we're basically fine. I mean, we could deal with that. That's, that's no biggie. Uh, but what we were just dealing with was seeming a little bit too much out of my hands. Okay, but let's continue. There we go. We're starting to make money again. Okay, Saxony is doing its Saxony and thing. Okay, can you guys win without me? Good. Nope, you guys cannot win without me interfering. Great. Gosh. Alliance with Bohemia? Yes! Okay, so yeah, now Bohemia is starting to fool in my plan. They're liking us a lot better. They just need 53 more and I'll be basically higher than them. Okay. Oh, gosh. And they have a decent amount of army, too. So, they would not be bad in a, like, an alliance. So, now we see the wait. We see where we wait for Bohemia to do something really, 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 really either stupid or, um, or really good for us. Okay, gosh. I'm just going to, like... Okay, let's just let's just support our army for a little bit longer. So apparently it does it can't kill anything without being completely supported. Which is kinda of stupid. And it seems like oh not you guys! Oh, they didn't actually rebel. Good. I hate <laughs> in, in all honesty, this is like the, probably the worst province I ever conquered. In fact, it's so bad that I think I'm probably gonna finally rename it. I'm gonna rename it Worst Worst Province Worst I'm just gonna name it. Hmm. Actually, nah. I like the name. <laughs> uh. See, that's the problem. Is that I start trying to think of like names and like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be this creative, I'm gonna be that creative. But then I kind of like the name sometimes they give it. Okay. A colony has been damaged. Oh no. Ah shit. Did those people kill my colony down there? Mm. Damn. My sugar plantations will not be demolished. Okay, you guys group up. We're gonna have you two group up in a. We have four the province! Yay! That should help with our overextension a little bit. We do have a lot of overextension right now. Okay, you guys stop. Combine. Okay, now you guys are pretty much an unstoppable death force. You guys better not die if I send you. There we go. And I'm gonna go send you guys in over here. And then I'm gonna have this army go right here to guard Navarra. And oh, we had our man. I don't think we had our manpower yet. Oh no, yes we are. We're at 36 out of 36. Okay. 14 men, five men. I think I'll send. I think I'll send the five, the five army to go explore America. I don't want to send too many troops. All right, there we go. I think I'll go a little bit slower. Not by much. There we go. Four. Four is about good speed. Five, I think, is just slightly bit too fast. Yeah, that's how it works. These guys are almost done with their uh, rebels. That's kind of expected. I mean, it's not the first time I've seen rebels, especially religious rebels that want to voice their opinions. You know, they just they just mad that I'm forcibly making them another religion. You know, it's not their fault that they want to rebel. It's really my fault. But I don't really care. <laughs> you guys will all become all homogeneous. Okay. Okay. Cause I do not deal with stupidity in my in my empire. Okay, okay. But right now I'm just like chilling. We're just like kind of chilling. Okay, finally. Um. Well, seems like I'll have to deal with the colonies a little bit later because first I have to deal with. Oh shoot! Denmark's back. Oh shoot! I have to deal with that. I have to deal with that as soon as possible. Uh. Okay. Yeah, we have to deal with that as soon as possible. Um, if you guys are wondering why. 
Um, basically, it's like this. If Denmark's back in the game, they're gonna use their massive amounts of cores on me and start inciting even more rebels. And, well, I can't exactly prove anything at this exact moment I'm recording, and it's still, it's still very touchy and I have to deal with that. So, we're going to, uh, we're gonna deal with that as soon as possible. And I'm gonna look for, what were my highest grossing provinces? Because they're the ones I really want to you know, convert. Okay, seems like we have a really good stamina. If we get some provinces right here, um, yeah, let's get this one right here. Uh, okay, okay. So, yeah, let's do that. And I'm thinking maybe I should take that Defender of the Faith now. Uh, you cannot claim this following. You need 500 gold. Dang it. Because, I mean, having, having the Faith thing would help me a lot, and I kind of need... Like, now that I'm a little bit more into the game and a little bit more established, especially with all these rebellions that keep happening, I mean, look at this. I have to go crush this. I have to go crush this. I mean, it's just like, oh my goodness. I have to keep, basically, I have to keep two armies inside of my own land at all times because of this. I'm going to go keep this army down here, too, to make sure no... I'm actually going to go keep it in St. James! Yeah, yeah! Go St. James. Oh, we have Finnish still in our lands? What? Really? Uh, that's weird. So we're gonna have to deal with Finnish people now. Oh gosh. I thought they would. I thought they would honestly convert to us, but apparently not. I mean, these guys. These are pretty tough rebels. That's why I did not do anything. And now we just destroyed them. And now I think we could finally take a break. We could just keep our men at half at half maxed, which is nice. This is nice. I mean. Not having to deal with many rebels, just kind of chilling out. National institutions! Le et c'est moi. He says I enjoy it, or can I lose... Could I instantly boost it back up? I could. There we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was easy. Okay, so yeah, it seems like we're doing stuff right over there. Um, our colonies also, I should mention, our colonies right now are doing fantastic. I mean, we are getting, the income's slow, but we're just starting to get all this. I mean, they, they're just colonies right now. They're still trying to figure out everything, and we have to still get massive amounts of forts over here just to make sure they don't all die. And our colony of Massachusetts just finished as soon as I did that. Let's pour it. Um, where should we move in next? Let's see. Did we get our colony down here? Yes, we did. It's great. So, will I move over to Tortuga? Hmm. Not yet. I think I want to go... I think I want to kind of make sure this is all blocked up, or at least a little bit more combined. Let's start making the middle colonies now. There we go. Sam Samuel Erickson will start colonizing up there. Start colonizing, uh, Connecticut. Hmm, Connecticut. Okay. Seems like there's a call to arms. Okay. This is exactly what I was waiting for. So, the nation of Bohemia, your faithful allies, requesting that you go at war with the same Bohemia we conquest of Besu against Cilia, Hungary, Cleves, and Teutonic Order. Cilia is allied with. Okay. And right when I did that, I got a rebellion. So let's see, who am I at war with exactly? Because I didn't really. You don't really get the full amount of effects of who you're at war with until you actually see the war map. And really no one that of importance. I mean, Retsu, like I said, Retsu, not that important. Um, Teutonic Order, not that important. Um, I could, hmm. you know, this could actually be a good opportunity to do a couple things. Let me just see. I have to check one thing, though. Are they in the Holy Order? No, they are not. Dang. So this is an entire war for just basically because of war. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Seems like we're actually just gonna be fighting a war just for war reasons. Okay. I'm gonna go right here. Gonna go send my army to go down there. Gonna go send him to go to Milligent. And then I'm gonna go send him to go kill the Teutonic Order. In fact, I'll go have my ships right here just be blockading the Teutonic Order. I mean, uh, let's see. Let's just scout them out. Yeah, th they are. They're gonna be easily crushed. Not even. Not even really a challenge. I just need to go get an army. Um, I wish I had a... Hmm. 
probably gonna have to divide this up a little bit. I'll divide it into eight. There we go. Let's divide it into eight. Go send these guys over here. Go pick up more men. I defeated. I defeated whatever bands of army they do have. Oh gosh, the Teutonic Order in this game has just been demolished. I mean, they are not even existent. Smergeland is now revolting against me. Gosh, rebels, everyone. You just gotta love them and hate them and love them at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna go send this army down here. And sorry, guys, but we are out of time. So I wanna thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.